everyone can recall the taste of Ferrero Rocher, an incredible chocolate and hazelnut confectionery. Let's turn this delicacy into a plated dessert. What about a melt-in-your-mouth hazelnut mousse coated with milk chocolate and toasted and chopped hazelnuts wrapped in buttery crust? Hey, I am Bruno Albuz. Welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. So first, let's make the pastry. In the food processor, I'm going to throw in my butter and salt and I'm going to soften it. Then I'm going to add the powdered sugar and almond meal and cream it, scraping the sides of the bowl as it goes. Then I'm going to add the egg and the vanilla. Continue to process until smooth and add the flour in two times and blend until just combined. Wrap up the pastry and chill a couple of hours or until firm. Flour your work surface and work out the pastry to make it workable, supple, but still cool. Then roll out into a 3 mm thin sheet. Prick with a fork and divide into strips that are slightly higher than the pastry ring edges and quarter inch wider in diameter. Chill the pastry for a few minutes, it's going to be easier to handle. Then apply the sweet dough against each greased pastry ring, making sure that it's evenly distributed. Trim off excess dough from the bottom, following the shape of the ring. Do likewise with the remaining rings. Refrigerate to rest, trim off tops and freeze overnight before baking. Next, the hazelnut ganache monté. I'm going to bring uh, my milk to a boil. Then I'm going to throw in my uh, toasted hazelnuts. Oops, I'm going to use a narrow container. It's going to be much easier to blend. Then I'm going to let this to infuse for about 20 minutes. Once infused, I'm going to sieve it, pressing down solids to extract as much hazelnut milk as possible. Then add half of the heavy cream, bring to a boil and pour into the melted chocolate and blend. Add the gelatin, hazelnut praliné and the remaining chilled heavy cream. Blend well and chill overnight. All right, so this is the hazelnut ganache monté I made yesterday. So it's completely chilled. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to whip it until just soft picks. Ganache monté, it's becoming very popular now. It's a kind of quick mousse, if you wish, using white chocolate instead of creme anglaise. Oh gosh, this is insane. Since I don't have the right silicone mold, by the way, I'm going to use my pastry rings, fill them up and freeze them completely. Then you want to use your cookie cutter to make them smaller than the crust. And of course, you don't want to throw away this absolutely delightful hazelnut mousse. Then divide each disc in half and keep frozen. Meanwhile, I am going to temper some uh, milk chocolate to make thin plates for the toppings. So I'm going to melt my chocolate to 113 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, 45 uh, Celsius. Then I'm going to drop the temperature to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 26 Celsius, and bring it up just a couple of more degrees to 84 Fahrenheit, 29 to 30 Celsius. And it is going to be ready to be spread onto an acetate sheet or the plastic wrap that are actually used by florists to wrap up flowers. It works just fine. Using a large offset spatula, you want to spread this beautiful chocolate into a thin sheet. And as soon as it sets, Cut into desired shapes, 3.4 by 0.8 inch. Cover with parchment, flip and refrigerate with some weight on top to prevent from curling. Next, I'm going to dip my hazelnut mousse into tempered milk chocolate. Next, I am going to temper more chocolate with cocoa butter to dip my frozen hazelnut mousse. In this beautiful glaze, you want to add some hazelnut crumbs. Once done, refrigerate to thaw. Then 
when ready to send out. Garnish each chocolate plate with dots of lemon curd, candied orange, edible flowers, micro mint, blueberries, and raspberries. I hope guys you enjoyed this gorgeous plated dessert episode. To get the full recipe and much more, go to brunoskitchen.net. For now, please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Bon appétit, see you next time. That's too good.